Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This one I want to discuss Nightmare on Elm Street the game. I'm not talking about the NES version though that is kind of why I'm here. I started to think how amazing it would be to make an asymmetrical horror game of Nightmare on Elm Street so Freddy as the killer. I mean let's be honest at least for me when Gun Media announced another game like another asymmetrical horror game I was not expecting them to do Texas Chainsaw Massacre. He's just, Leatherface is not the killer I think of when I think of iconic horror slashers. I do, however, think of Freddy. A game like this could be really easy to make and unique compared to most asymmetrical horror games. Because you could go on and say the, the market's already getting a little oversaturated. You had games like the last year that obviously did not make it and some other ones that just kind of failed. But I think Gun Media is a company that could easily do it. And how you can make it unique and I think have people really buy in and be and be a more popular asymmetrical horror game, I think, than any of them, is the fact that Freddy Krueger has the dream world. So no matter what your characters, however many you want to do, you could do 5v1, 6v1, whatever it is, you could have it to where the game starts with a few minutes to gather certain items and weapons. There is a timer on that goes into the dream world. Once that happens, you fall asleep. And that is when Freddy can attack you. Now you could also base this on the Dream Warriors film and each character have dream powers or dream abilities when they're only able to use it in the dream world. You could then add different ways to basically escape and escaping would be escaping the dream world. So you could have it where you have to find the keys to the pharmacy in order to grab the pills that make you wake up. I mean, that's just an idea. Imagine how much fun that would be. You start the game having to look for weapons, maybe already looking for keys, not worried about Freddy, and then it transfers into the dream world, similar to the NES game, and then you're stuck with Freddy coming after you in multiple different ways, because he's in the dream world and can do what he wants, but you also have the ability to fight back and powers to fight back. At the same time, you're trying to wake up, so maybe it's through coffee or the pills, like I said, with the pharmacy. There's got to be maybe a certain escape route you could bring Nancy in as a special character similar to Tommy in the Friday 13th and what would be really unique is that you could kill Freddy but only if you work as a team and grab him as you wake up once he becomes in the real world now you can kill him I mean obviously this is just an idea but imagine how much more fun this would be than comparable to most asymmetrical horror games it's obviously the same thing right so Friday 13th, seven counselor, six counselors, seven counselors, whatever it was, it's been so long, versus Jason Voorhees. And then now you got the, the family versus the four victims. So the three killers versus four victims, Sex Chainsaw Massacre. Of course, you have your Dead by Daylight. But this would be so unique because it transitions from real world to dream world. Characters have abilities and powers. And now you're, you're hitting a whole new, I don't know, maybe a whole new atmosphere of asymmetrical horror. I think it would do really good in the horror and asymmetrical game market. That's it. Just a quick little rant on that. I actually came up with this idea because I was playing the NES Nightmare on Elm Street game. And I just thought how amazing this could be as an asymmetrical horror game nowadays. And who better do it, of course, than Gun Media. So Gun Media, if you ever do find this video, make that. So do you agree with me and think that this could be an incredible game? and something unique and different from most asymmetrical horror games? Or do you think, eh, the, the market's oversaturated, let's not do this again? Let me know that in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.